Minnesota Math and Science Academy is a great addition to our K-12 public education system and our public charter system, for sure. Why? Because it has a true focus on STEM education. They do it with such hands-on opportunities for the students, and they have the labs, and they have the opportunities for them to really explore in depth. You know, we do things like STEM. We teach engineering, robotics, coding as part of our curriculum. I believe robotics specifically teaches kids to be team members, to collaborate their learnings, because it also teaches them how to be problem solver, critical thinking, collaboration, being a good team member. So our students are also able to compete in RoboCon, MathCon, science, spoken word, and they compete against other concept schools in the Midwest. Last year we had about 40 students that took a charter bus to Chicago to compete over a weekend. Our counselor works with all of our students a lot, starting all the way in ninth grade up through senior year. As seniors, they work very closely with her to work on their FAFSAs and their college applications. Um, they do uh, practice ACTs and take the ACT test as juniors. Um, so we're always trying to make them ready for what they'll see in college. We offer uh, advanced courses like honors, AP courses. We provide PLTW courses for them. Uh, we organize college trips. We encourage them to take some college level courses from different local colleges in Minnesota. Uh, we have opportunities for kids where kids can go to PSEO, post-secondary education, so they can take courses at college and they get college credit that way. I want to be a ultrasound technician. With my school, they do offer PSEO, and so I'm taking PSEO at the University of Minnesota. And with that, I'm doing prerequisites for the major I want to take in order to be an ultrasound tech. I've decided to become an anesthesiologist, and my school helps with that by offering us a lot of programs. We have AP programs, we have PSEO. The school itself offers a lot of science courses and technology courses. I myself have taken many. So there's ways our students are accumulating their school credits and they can even get college credits so that they can start college early and prepare them for that. I think the best way to describe our school's culture is community. That's the word I would use. Everybody here moves and operates like a family, like you were at home. We are an extremely diverse school. About 95% of our students are East African. We try to provide uh, some kind of culturally responsive learning environments for them. We understand their needs, uh, everything from prayer to halal foods to what, whatever. Especially for our religion reasons, they understand there's times that we need to go to pray. They understand that sometimes during the Ramadan, we're fasting. We do have lots of staff members here who are East African, as myself, and we have people at the front office who speak certain languages as well to help accommodate for this. We encourage our teachers to do home visits to build relationship between school and the family. Each teacher are uh, encouraged to do at least two home visits. Parents are so welcoming and they are opening their doors, their hearts. In addition to that, we have Parent Academy. Uh, we try to empower our parents so they can support their kids at home. They're reaching out, they're communicating with us. So we have a very good relationship and we love our teacher. Our students participate in what's called CYSP, which is the concept uh, Youth Scholars Program. So that also gives them opportunities um, outside of the school day. It builds leadership. Uh, it's an optional program, students are welcome to join. And it goes over character building, a little bit of athletics, college preparatory skills, studying, how to improve yourself, not only in the academics, but also on a personal and individualized level. I have attended CYSP, and that was a really big changing program for me in my um, life. Um, CYSP taught us how to be very independent and showed us real life problems that we can solve. I really loved how we could um, spend time together outside school hours and also get to know each other on a very personal level. Going outside, they're getting you know, they're playing games, they're playing whether it's soccer, basketball, or like, you know, fun games outside with their teachers. And then even towards the end of the year, you know, for kids that are interested, we send them out of the country to go on, you know, create amazing trips. This year, uh, they're going to Peru for the kids that want to go. So it's a very amazing program.
they're so successful and they really do have the uh, achievement, uh, the, the graduation numbers and the um, test scores. So I'm delighted with what they have been doing here in Minnesota. This is a beautiful place, so I trust my kids to be here.